hungry for it. Bundiaki. Warren Rose has come way outside of Warren Rose. Will do it all. There's Stuart Hall. Oh, he's through. And here goes Darcy Graham. He's looking for support. Oh, he's on the center. It's on to one. What a debut this is. Well, if you'd said. Paul, they've got three backs all stacked up in midfield. Dante, brilliant hands outside. Must be a try. And it's the electric matchstick, Gabriel Villar, who scores. And at last, some French fusion. 187 more than any other side. They're tackling again for all their worth. But will it be enough? And why? Darcy Graham, great feast. Oh, great feat from the young man. Reece Summit stood in front of him, looked like an immovable object, but somehow the 24-year-old from Edinburgh. He went with his own sneakers. Did you call them sneakers? Man, you see yeah. Yeah. Like oh! A Matt Hansen! Matt Hansen! High alive! Oh my goodness, have you ever seen anything like that from a kick-off? But it's... We're running away towards Antoine Dupont. Good footwork. Oh, he saw the space to fall. That is absolutely sensational stuff from the World Player of the Year, Ali Price. Tries to bring him down, searing his way through that Scottish defence. And now they're on the front foot. Here's Gail Victor. And it must be a try. And what a try it is. And it's Paul Willemser who finds the honeypot for France in the year. Williams, long pass. Oh, that's quite superb. And Josh Adams, well, it's been a while, almost a year since he scored his last Test match try. But how timely might that be? The tackle came from Brett of Robbie Henshaw. Yes, Pop back inside to Caelan Dallas. And Dallas is sheen on his shoulder. And Carberry is there. They're effectively a man down. Dupont, Entermac, Marfana. There's a spare man out wide now. Chamonix, and across goes Geelong. Anti Geelong gets the first drive for France. He's starting very brightly. Off goes Stuart Hogg. This is Darcy Graham. He's got fabulous footwork. Now George Turner who's got great hip work, just bouncing players away. Ali Price on his 50th appearance for Scotland. This is their first real attack. Oh, there's space on the outside for Sam Johnson to scuttle his way across the line. And that was really Scotland's first opportunity to break through what has been a resolute Italian defence. Sort of this championship not available. Cowan Dickey and Cameron. Here's Van der Fleer. And here's Shane Glow. Glow keeps the ears back. Will he get there? Yes, he will. Max Mellis couldn't make up the ground. There was space out there. And Ireland found it. Absolutely amazing. Down to 40. That boy doesn't miss it from there. Again, they've worked that ball brilliantly. But we call it all. Here it is now. It must be. And it is. And it's Owen Watkins who scores. A turbo boost of try from Wales. And my goodness, did they need that. Herring and Ireland inside the final two minutes. Looking for the moment point what? try. Just to ratchet yes. up the pressure a little bit more on France. Ahead of the final game of the Guinness Six Nations. And Murray goes after it. And Murray has got it. And the Aviva goes crazy. It's the fourth try. It's the bonus point try. It's a triple crown. And the Irish players and supporters alike. A ferociously quick tackle. Young. Smith. 
lead. Marching at pace. Trying Great to step. Such an important Not tackle from kill. Francois Cross. It's still alive though for England. Marcus Smith. Elliot Daly. Out there to Stewart. Stewart comes to field. And the Leicester Tiger has got England's first try of the night. The Grand Chelem means so much to France. Head to back. Tal Fifanua. Aldrich. Up to the foul. And the captain is through. And the world player of the year. Delivered the Holy Grail. Well, I think so. Petit General, the little man, he ain't little. Maybe just his stature in rugby playing wise, he's the best there is at nine in the world.